Hello everybody, my name is Justin Tobin. So recently I recorded a short film. I decided to record a short film to hone my craft as a filmmaker, as an amateur filmmaker that wants to go professional. So here I am on my filmmaking journey. Okay, so on to production with emphasis on lighting. The entire film was shot with a Lumix GH5 and like a 12 to 60 millimeter f2.8 to 4 lens. For the opening scene, I wanted to have it look like only the lamp light was being used. The lamp was in the frame of the shot and I wanted to have the lamp light exposed correctly while still having a good amount of light on myself. In this situation, you can't have it both ways. I exposed for the lamp lace, but that resulted in me being silhouetted. So I used a soft LED light and turned the white balance down to 3200 Kelvin to match the color temperature of the lamp and positioned it in such a way that it looked like the light was coming from the lamp. The result is that the lamp lace was still exposed properly and I had some light on myself, giving the image a more dynamic and cinematic look. For the bedroom scene, I used two soft LED lights. I recorded this around the middle of the day, but wanted to give it a nighttime feel. So I set the white balance on my camera to as low as it could go to give the image a blue look, which is a very easy and effective way to simulate moonlight. Simulate, not simulate, simulate. Man, that was embarrassing. A little bit embarrassing. I put a soft LED light in the window, which acted as my moonlight, and I put a second soft LED light on my computer chair and aimed it up at me to fill in any shadows. For the final scene, I used one LED light and positioned it so it was coming from the same direction as the window light in the living room. The living room window is the practical light, and this motivated my choice to position the LED light beside me. Okay, so on to post-production, which took up the most time. I used ADR, or Automated Dialogue Recording, or Additional Dialogue Recording. I used a Zoom H1 and a Shure SM58 for this. I watched the video and listened to the dialogue being spoken over and over again until I was familiar with the speech rhythm. Then I talked or whispered along with the dialogue for the ADR process until it matched well. Then I dragged the audio files into Final Cut and synced it up and turned down the volume on the video file so the new audio was played. The results are night and day. I also recorded ADR for sounds like the closet door squeaking and thumping, the crucifix scraping on my desk, eating and drinking sounds, even outdoor sounds with birds chirping. Even the sounds of the rosary beads rattling, that's, that's ADR work. For the music score, I used Logic Pro's keyboard tool with software instruments to create some ominous and uplifting sounds. After it was edited, I gave it a color grade, added some titles, and here we are. The pre-production was a bit unorthodox because I wrote a quick script with all action and no dialogue after recording the couch scene. Written by me, directed by me, edited by me, music by me, 
sound design by me, starring me, 100% by yours truly, Justin Tobin. So it was a it was a good exercise, and it's a fun exercise, and I suggest everybody else do it. It's uh, quite fun, and I'll be making more short films. Uh, perhaps next time I'll get some assistance from other people, other actors. Uh, I'll have some other people, perhaps, uh, with the video work. Although, in order to hone my craft, I want to, you know, stay as the director and the writer, and even the cinematographer for these uh, videos. It's it's a very good way to hone your craft, and I'll certainly be practicing. Uh, please subscribe. Please like this video. Help inspire me and motivate me to keep making content to become a filmmaker and. If you have a short film that you've made, uh, please let me know, and I'll watch it, and I'll review it. I'll give you my honest feedback. Okay, my name is Justin Tobin, and thank you for watching.